Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome once again to our YouTube channel, Zion Kenya TV. It is my hope and prayer that this video is going to find so well wherever you are. Kindly, if this might be your first time watching me at Zion Kenya TV YouTube channel, take a one second and click the subscriptions button and subscribe. In that next time when we upload to you such kind of a video, the video will automatically come to your YouTube platform. After you subscribe, watch our videos, like, share and give us your opinion. And to the members, I want to be very much grateful for the good job you are actually doing. Continue supporting this channel by watching our videos after you subscribe. Let's proceed with our analysis. Things are still turning wild. In the Republic of Kenya under William Samuel Ruto, Ruto's administration. You might think that it is easy as we hope that Kenya Kwanza is going to fulfill their promises they made during the campaigns. But let me tell you, let's hope for the worst in the next 10 years unless they are going to rectify their mistakes they are doing. It is very unfortunate, ladies and gentlemen, that our deputy president is trying to torment the judiciary. I can use such kind of word. And uh, very again unfortunate, first time in the history, <laughs> the deputy president in the Republic of Kenya is filing a petition against the judiciary after them themselves in the government have realized that there is corruption in the judiciary and now Rikade Gashagwa is filing a petition by Thursday this week that Esther uh, Maina to be removed from the office under Martha, against Martha Kaome. As you know these people have been haunting the judiciary day in day out and now they have reached to an extent of having no apology and they are trying to just thumb that they are the one in power so there is no one to stand before them or talk ill manners against them let's take a look and listen to this video against justice esther minor for her removal from the judiciary for misconduct and corruption. Mimi mwenyewe ni utaongoza. Because Eh, sasa unajua sasa si ametuuliza. Sasa tuko tayari mimi ndio taongoza kwa executive. Huyo judge through corruption declared my hard and worth wealth proceeds of crime without giving me an opportunity to be heard. Again, is the rules of evidence where he who alleges must prove. We made an application to cross-examine the investigator Akakata. Kwa sababu anajua there is no case. Na evidence tu kona yo vile rifanyika. So, 2.15 on Thursday, my lawyers are preparing. Mimi mwanyewe. Because she has challenged us. I think now, tufanya kazi sasa. Si tufanya kazi listen to what the deputy president is saying number one according to my observation is that uh, these people are trying to test the judiciary as i said uh, i think two weeks ago about the housing levy project president have been preaching this gospel day in day out and uh, i've uh, i've realized that these people, they want to know uh, the movement on their take. In any case, they win whatever the deputy president Gadi Gashagwa is filing. And uh, it is actually, the deputy president is filling the pinch after the judiciary uh, was against their housing levy project and you now we are seeing him together with the president in fact to make it worse Ruto seems to have been supporting this Chini Amaji and now 
when you see a case the deputy president is filing this we should watch what next and i have a message for kenyans that these are some of the signs of the collapse of an ex of an empire god works in a mysterious ways so it means kenya kwanza administration is somehow collapsing not even somehow is collapsing and again there is a comment from Wahome Tuku. This is what Wahome is saying. His Excellency regarding Gashagua, I don't want to read so much whichever description is it is, says he was not given an opportunity by the Justice Esther Minor to respond to allegation of money laundering leveled against him by the asset recovery agency leading for for failure of his millions to the state which he has returned to him anyway you see now while is exposing regarding Gashagua, he continued i think the deputy president does not know that we can access the judgment online he thinks we are all in UDA. I am reading the judgment and Gashagua first respondents reply as a capture by the judge in details. He may be aggrieved because he, he lost but it is clear it was hard but I still believe the deputy is not interested in justice minor. He is challenging the president the copy uh, him, sorry, he copy him and file a complaint with the GSC against the judiciary. So it means Esther Maina had exposed the deputy president on how he squandered his wealth. I think that is what Waume is saying. And the take of the deputy president comes after he has been exposed by the judiciary. And now he does not want to be rectified. He does not want to be mentioned. Him again is taking a petition to, to question the judiciary on uh, wh why are they after him. And the president is silenced. The people there, I think from that video you, you've watched, are clapping. It means they're happy on what all the deputy president is now doing to the people in the Republic of Kenya. Let me tell you, 95% of Kenyans are not happy uh, on what Rigadi Gashagwa have now uh, taken in public. Because if Chief Justice, they are, they are claiming that uh, there is corruption at the judiciary, that the ones who uh, endorsed them, appointed them, and they trusted them, but now we are seeing they, are, they have turned wild against them. This only comes when we saw recently Rigadi Gachagua was fighting the EX president Uhuru Kenyatta. Again, he is fighting uh, uh, Esther Maina coming from central Kenya. Three minutes ago, I think I did the analysis about uh, the central people endorsing Ndini Nyoro. Now, these are the reasons why we are getting, finding that the central people have lost trust against this man. And if it has reached a case, now they, 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 they file a petition to Supreme Court. Because they have been questioned on how he was uh, he squandered the the wealth that he have right now. It means number one that Kenya Kwanza administration they they want one voice, one party, one uh, one voice, one party to be ruled that no one should stand and uh, question them. Number two, there's a dictatorship rising up here, ladies and gentlemen. 
under William Samoy Ruto's administration. Then number three, they have shown impunity. And uh, if they move, if they carry on this way, then even the judiciary might file a petition <laughs> against them. I don't know, maybe impeachment, whichever the case it is. Because they are all human beings, they have all their rights. Kenyans have a right as well illustrated in Kenyan's constitution. Then lastly, I think the deputy president is bitter. And uh, together with William Samuel Ruto, just recently, a few months ago, the court was against the housing levy. They are now putting them on toes for them to approve it. So that is their move. It is not all about filing petition uh, against Esther Maina. They have a secret agenda, secret behind this. And that is why we are seeing things are still falling apart in this Kenya Kwanza administration. My name is Charles. I want to wish you all the best. Blessed afternoon. That is what I had to share with you at this point. Kindly continue supporting this channel by subscribing. Watch our videos, like, share and give us your opinion. I, I may not be perfect enough, ladies and gentlemen, to bring you this analysis, but you can also give us more details at the comment section below on our YouTube platform. Bye-bye, as you still stay tuned at Zion Kenya TV YouTube channel. Thank you very much.